Hello Audacious Church, I hope you are well and whatever time of day it is for you, whether it's the morning, the afternoon, the evening, I'm so excited to be sharing this devotion with you today. I hope you're comfortable, you've got your Bible, your notepad so you can take some notes, you've got a cup of tea, coffee, some water, just make sure you're comfortable. But before we get into that, uh, my name is George, if you don't know me, I am part of the Central Campus here at Audacious. I am also a first year college student at Audacious College and I'm a part of the amazing Audacious Youth Team. Shout out to both of you guys, you are awesome. I am going to be sharing with you today from Proverbs 16. There are so many amazing truths to be um, seen in Proverbs 16 written by King Solomon. When I was reading through it I really got the sense that he was talking about the importance of being righteous, honest, humble and how all of our steps are established by God. There is so much to unpack in this, so I really encourage you to go and read it for yourself. But I will be only focusing on a few verses that I felt stood out to me and that what God was speaking to me about through those verses. So, if you open your Bibles, and we're going to go to Proverbs 16 verse 3. It says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Jump to verse 9 and it says, In their hearts humans plan their course, but... The Lord establishes their steps. So, and I think it's natural for human beings that we want to be in control of our own lives. We want to decide what we do, who we are, um, who we're friends with, who we hang out with. And at times when we feel life's going great, we can take the keys of control off God and be like, God, don't you worry about this. I've totally got it. Things are going sweet. Things are going well. I can handle it from here, you don't have to do anything now. And spoiler alert, everything we do needs to have God at the forefront, God at the centre. Uh, so when, but when those inevitabilities of life happen, when challenges come, because God is no longer at the centre of our lives, we can feel um, lost, we can feel panicked, we can feel like, how do I move on from here? Where do I go? What do I do? lots of uncertainty and I know that a lot of you may have felt that in lockdown which definitely nobody was expecting a pandemic to take over and for us to be stuck at home for months on end without seeing people seeing our friends getting to hang out and there was a lot of uncertainty a lot of unknowns like I said before people were being made redundant there were lots of loss and even many more situations that I've not mentioned there was just so much of that but, as I said before, the King, King Solomon mentions this so clearly that the answer is to commit to the Lord in everything that we do. Everything that we do. Not only when things are going bad do we do it, but when also when things are going good. Put him back in his rightful place at the centre of your life. That's where he belongs at all times. All times. Put him back in that rightful place. So that when those inevitabilities of uncert and uncertainties of life appear when chaos happens and when we don't know what to do because we have kept God at the center at the forefront our foundation will not be shaken because he is with us and we have already established our foundation on him on his presence on his word don't underestimate the power of how important it, important it is to read your bible daily even when we maybe read a few verses and we don't really understand how it applies to our life right now, years down the line we can be like, oh my gosh, I remember when I read that verse a few years ago and now it makes sense. The word is living and breathing and it applies to all aspects. So don't take it for granted, church. I really encourage you to do that. So yeah, like I said, commit your life to him daily and it won't be shaken. And God will make your path straight and he will give you direction. So even when you don't know what's going on, and even when you don't have a plan, and even when you don't know what the next step is, it's okay. It's okay because God has the plans. He knows every detail. He is outside of time. He's in today. He was even in your yesterday. He's in three years from now. He knows the ins and outs, and he has a plan specifically set out for you. So when you don't know what's happening, at least take comfort in knowing that there is someone who does and it's the man that sits, the guy that sits on the throne. It's the king, it's God. It's God, take comfort knowing that. No matter where we go, he has the final say. He knows you, he loves you. 
He wants what's best for you. God is not finished with you, you yet, no matter what age you are. God has all the plans in place and he is not finished. So like I said before, I encourage you that this is not just a one-time decision that we make, but it's a daily one. And I don't know if it's when you wake up you do it, but or even before you go to bed, but commit your life to God daily. Keep him at that center, keep him on his rightful place. Give him back the keys of control. It's not our life, it's his. So give him, make it a daily decision in your life. Make it part of your devotions. I don't know how you do it, but make sure you implement that. Keep him at the centre. God is the establisher of everything. I hope that has given you some comfort today to know that despite whatever is happening, God has that control. So make it a priority for you to do, to give them that again daily. Commit it to him daily. Just close your eyes and I'm going to pray. Father, I thank you for what you've spoken to us about today. I thank you that despite uncertainties and challenges that arise in our lives, Lord, as they inevitably do, that you have control, that you are the establisher of all of our fates, Father, that you are the centre of all of our lives. So we give you back the keys of control. We keep you at the centre today, Father. I pray, Lord, that you'll fill every single person that's listening to this with the your presence again, fill us again with your Holy Spirit, speak to us again through your Holy Spirit and give us that peace to know that through uncertainty you are still reign supreme, that you are still the king, that you are still on the throne, that you are still good. Thank you Father that you've spoken to us today and I thank you that you'll keep that truth in the forefront of everybody's minds as they go through life daily. In your name we pray, Amen. Amen, church. I hope this has spoken to you. And I encourage you again to read Proverbs 16 for yourself as well to see what God's speaking to you um, through that. Have an amazing rest of your day and yeah, goodbye. <laughs>